Before we discuss the concept of God in Christianity, I would like to make a few points clear. Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God. We believe that he was the Messiah, translated Christ. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, which many modern day Christians today do not believe. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe that he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. The Christians and the Muslims, we are going together. But one may ask, then where is the parting of ways? The parting of ways is that there are many Christians who say that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he claimed divinity. In fact, if you read the Bible, there is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God, or why says worship me. I would like to repeat the statement. There is not a single unequivocal statement, not a single unambiguous statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or why he says worship me. If any Christian can point out any unequivocal statement, any unambiguous statement from anywhere in the Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself says that I am God or why he says worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity today. I am not speaking on behalf of my other Muslims. I am a student of comparative religion. I am ready to put my head on the guillotine. If any Christian can point out any single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God or where he says worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity. In fact, if you read the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he mentioned himself in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, My father is greater than I. Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29. My father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28. I cast out devils with the Spirit of God. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20. I, with the finger of God, cast out devils. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just. For I seek not my will, but the will of Almighty God. Anyone who says, I seek not my will, but the will of Almighty God, he's a Muslim. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a Muslim. He never claimed divinity. In fact, he clearly mentioned, it's mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 5, verse number 7 to 20. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, that think not that I am come to destroy the law of the prophets. I have come not to destroy, but to fulfill. Until the heaven and the earth pass away, not one jot or tittle shall pass away from the law until all be fulfilled. And whosoever shall break one of the least commandments and teach men to do so shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. And whosoever shall keep the commandments and teach men the same, they shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, in no way shall you enter the kingdom of heaven. This is a verbatim quotation from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 5, verse number 70 to 20. And you can check it up. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said that if you want to enter Jannah, you have to be better than the Jews, better than the scribes and the Pharisees. You have to follow each and every commandment of Moses, peace be upon him. Even if you break one of the least commandments, you shall not enter Jannah, you shall not enter paradise. You have to believe in everything what Moses, peace be upon him, said earlier. You have to believe in one God, that God has got no images, etc. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he never claimed divinity. In fact, he said, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 24. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said that the words that you hear are not mine, but my father's who has sent me. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 17, verse number 3. This is life eternal. So that you may know there is one God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. It's further mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 19, verse number 16 and 17. Once a person, he approaches Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, and he asks him that, good master, what good things should I do so that 
I shall receive eternal life. He's asking Jesus Christ, the one good master, what good things should I do so that I will get eternal life, I shall go to paradise. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, replies and says, Why thou callest me good? Leave aside God. Why thou callest me good? There's only one good, and that is Almighty God. And if thou want to enter eternal life, if you want to enter paradise, to keep the commandments. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, did not say that if you want to enter paradise, believe that I am God. He did not say believe that I died on the cross for your sins. He said, if you want to enter paradise, you keep the commandments. All that there is one God, God has got no images, etc. It's clearly mentioned in the book of Acts, chapter number 2, verse number 22. It says, E men of Israel, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God amongst you by miracles and wonders and signs which God did by him and you are witness to it. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God amongst you by miracles and wonders and signs which God did by him and you are witness to it. And when Jesus Christ, peace be upon us, asked that which is the first of the commandments, he replies in the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 12, verse number 29, exactly verbatim what was said earlier by Moses, peace be upon him, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 6, verse number 4. And he says, Shama Israelo, adnel hainu adnel khad. It's a Hebrew quotation which means, Hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God, is one Lord. So if you read the Christian Bible, you shall understand the concept of God in Christianity, that Almighty God is only one, has got no images, and you have to worship Him alone and no one else.